So, hey guys, as I promised, we're going to start to build this application using React hooks, Redux hooks, and Firebase. Okay, although you cannot see that there. Um, and of course, we have authentication. So, let me show you again what we have. Okay, we can see the posts. We cannot edit or delete unless we um, sign in or log in. So, let's log in. So I can come back here to another post. I can see the edit, okay? And I can choose another file or whatever. And I can uh, create a new post, okay? Let's say um, whatever, this is just for you to see. Okay, this opens on my other screen. Let me find an image, okay, this one. Open, create post. It's processing, okay, is uh, uploading the image at this point. It takes um, some time and it just adds the image and we can also edit and delete and all that crap, okay. If we delete, we get redirected and all that. So, um, yeah, let's start with the code, okay, I'm just going to do something, okay, and what I did is, um, this is what we're going to build, okay, this is the folder, so I'm going to, okay, minimize that, so this is my um, new folder, just create a new folder, install, um, let's go to, create react app in order to create an application using react okay you just run this npx create react app and the name of your application and you are ready to go you need a node.js install and that's it okay so um, okay i got the application created Let's go to git bash, npm start to start the application. And in this video, this is going to be a short video where you're going to start with all the um, structuring our files, okay? Installing our dependencies. And um, that will be it for this video, so this is going to be a short one. So we have, oh, of course, creating our um, Firebase. So we need to install Redux, okay? But we're going to use Redux hooks. So let's come back here to the console. Let's Control C to um, remove that to close the application. And I'm going to copy this, okay? And paste. So this is what we are going to run. npm install re Redux and React Redux with the next at next. Okay. Let's click. Uh, let's um, tap enter. So it installs, and we're going we're going to start with the. I got this open right. Yep. Creating some folders. Let's say components. Okay, we have the components and we're going to need another folder, not inside this one, inside source. That is going to be our actions. Another one that is going to be um, Firebase. Okay, this is going to uh, keep our configuration in, uh, in, the, in the folder. Okay, so and also, of course, since we are going to use Redux, although we can use reducers also with context, okay, let's create a new folder called reducers. And a last one, that is going to be the store. Okay, so at this point we have React Redux installed with the latest or with the add next that allow us to use the hooks. So, 
we're going to create now not before that uh, we need routing so let's come here to um, react training that is a react router and for the web we get this okay we copy that we paste it back in our console and we install react router dom this is for the routes okay so let me move this one here and we create a new firebase project because this is using firebase let's say um, react redux hooks tut and let's click continue i don't want this so not now continue create and it's going to create so okay we finish loading uh, i mean installing react redux sorry not react redux um, react routing okay so let's say um, npm start and start the application again once this is created we are going to create the storage we need the storage and the database okay we're going to use firestore or you can use real-time database whatever you want okay let's wait for this to okay i don't know why it cuts like that okay so right now we're not going to configure that we're going to configure it in a second but first we need to create the storage to have the instance let's click next and yeah let's wait for that okay so our application is running now and soon we will start building the store that is going to be on another video so this shouldn't take that long and let me close all this okay you can check redux here and all that um, but i will try to explain um, what everything is doing okay now we have this we're going to change the rules so we can just write like that okay and um, publish okay just allow read write and we need to create a database create a database with the test mode that uh, only um, says this to allow read and write to anyone okay so let's say next okay next already and this should be it so we should have um, everything installed everything ready okay so we can start creating our application so we're going to keep that okay um, or oh, i mean we're going to start building that in the next video okay so just wait for it